Sleep in peace around here. Sorry, it's Jump here. What a ridiculous name for a Tamaguchi, Jean Pierre. Don't you pay attention to my little Kuchiku? He's pretty cool, huh? Telling me who's disappeared on? Jean Pierre's disappeared! Maybe he went out looking for someone who'll give him a better name. You stole my Jean Pierre, Ulrich, and I want him back! Hey, are you out of your mind? I don't want your dumb plastic Jean Pierre. But then if it wasn't you, then he had to have been kidnapped! I sure hope your pinky bank is full so you can pay the ransom. Stop it, come on! Don't you understand? He'll die of hunger if we don't find him! What are we gonna do, huh? Hmm. Hey, I know. How about some breakfast? Yes? Jean-Pierre Delmas? Uh, yes. It seems, Jean-Pierre, you're interested in non-enriched uranium. What did you say? Jean-Pierre's not any old Tamaguchi virtual pet. He's only a few months old. He's very fragile. Would you abandon a helpless baby, Jeremy? If he was just plastic, I sure would. We've got to go look for him right away! I think it'd be a lot better to wait. I don't get it. Wait for what? For you to buy another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get the picture now. I thought the good friends were there when you needed them, but I guess I was mistaken! What do you know? You left your little Tamasushi at home? Do you like soggy frozen waffles and cereal that's genetically modified? Why do you want to know that? Because it may stuff a few down your throat! Oh, wow, he must have gotten up on the long side of the bed today. Not a long side, sissy, it's the wrong side. Zip it up right now, Herb. Now, wait a minute, what is it you want? I haven't done anything. You got an affinity for bombers, especially the long-range kind. And a particular affection for anthrax and other degenerate stuff like that. But I assure you, I'm a respectable school principal. All right. We believe you. Oh, no! But what's the meaning of this? And who are you? We belong to an ultra-high security division of the Secret Service. The President himself has no idea that we exist. Even we have no idea who we really are. But then you must Keep be... still. At 10 p.m. last night, the computer of a large weapons manufacturer was hacked, and documents dealing with highly sensitive and classified defense data was accessed. It so happens that the hacker unwittingly left a trail leading directly back to him. And the trail led us straight back to this phone line here in your school. Whose phone is it? This room is occupied by Jeremy Belpois. There's something I just don't get. It's impossible to hack into the system with that. He'd need a much more powerful mainframe configuration. Something that's not available over the counter. The question is, how did he get his hands on it? Who are his contacts? Which terrorist cell is he working for? Right, we'll keep this Jeremy Belpois under tight surveillance. Microphones, cameras, we're gonna watch him. He doesn't know it, but we're gonna use him to break this group. But our Jeremy Belpois a terrorist? I can't believe that. In any event, let me assure you, gentlemen, of my personal and total cooperation. You know, I might be able to help. I never told you this, sir. But I was a Secret Service agent for a couple of years there. You were? Yes, that's absolutely right, but I'd rather not talk about it. Enough. Now listen, if you really want to help, then set up the equipment with us. That way, we might take you off the suspect list. 
So, when do you recall seeing Jean-Pierre for the last time? For the hundredth time, he went to sleep right next to the bed. Okay, then. Kiwi would have started to growl if anyone had come into the room. Yes, but not if he recognized who it was. Hi, what's up, guys? Jean-Pierre has disappeared. You mean the principal? No, no the, the Tamaguchi. Oh, <laughs> odd. Let's go and see if we can find any clues in your room. Password? Bird brain. That's it. Come on in. Jim Morales reporting. Audio, video, all mics and cameras discreetly hidden. Very good. Let's get this show on the road. It's a good thing you weren't a cameraman for a TV station. But I did work as a TV cameraman. There, camera 3A. What are they doing in Delarobia's room at this time of day? Why aren't they in the lunch room? What? Jim, would you mind telling me what a dog is doing in my establishment? Uh, I, uh, I don't know, sir. It's the first time I've ever seen him. Quiet, you two. Where did you put the microphone? Under the bed. Well done, right next to a noisy dog. They're, uh, they're all leaving the room now. Camera 2C, dormitory hallway. I, uh, I thought it was a real clever idea to conceal the camera behind that distinguisher. The uh, insignia. I mean, uh, Inquisitioner. I'm getting more and more worried. This is serious. Yeah, we know. If we don't find John Pierre in the next eight hours, it's the end of the world. Did you hear that? He just said John Pierre. Why, that's my name as well. Oh, yes, we heard it. Is there anything you'd care to tell us, Jean-Pierre? But this is completely absurd. I've nothing to do with this, I tell you. Okay, drop but, it. Uh... Time to turn things up a notch. Jim, I want you to put a tracer on the suspect. That way, he'll never be out of our reach. Mm-hmm. Still nothing. What are you doing in huh? here? Out on the double! Hey, is anything the matter, Jim? Uh, those darn mosquitoes. <laughs> Just think I'm going to lunch at the same time Jean-Pierre is dying a slow and painful death because he has nothing to eat. Life is so tough. And since he's just a piece of plastic with no feelings, he's blaming you for his misery. Hang on. Hmm? Xana's on the attack. Oh, that's great. I'm never going to find Jean-Pierre. Doesn't Xana ever take a little lunch break? No. And so we're not going to take any either. Let's go. Come on. Chicken hog calling hen house. The bird has flown the coop. I repeat, flown the coop. What kind of gibberish is that? Huh? Would you mind speaking normally? Uh, Belpois and his pals are on the move. OK. Stay on their tails. Wow, they're, they're going into the sewers. Hey, do you read me? Loud and clear. Uh Virtualization. <laughs> Here are your vehicles. The activated tower is situated south, southwest. Last one there's a rock. Seems like Xana's found a way to mess up the super scan. But why would he lure us to Lyoko? No idea. But I don't like it. I'm bringing you back in right now. Step away from that keyboard. Huh? What? You're under arrest. But what have I done? That's for you to tell us, kid. What happened to your pals? Where are they? And Jean-Pierre. Right. Take him in. I'll stay here with Morales and see what evidence we can find. Don't just stand there. Find me those other kids. Fast! 
Jeremy, what are you waiting for? Uh, what? <laughs> Uh, what's wrong with you, Odd? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Something's very wrong, Jeremy? Fire at me, Odd. Well, you did make fun of my Tamaguchi, but that's not much of a reason to zap you, Ulrich. This is no time for jokes. Okay, anything for a good cause. Hey, Stern, I want you to explain to me what all this UFO equipment is doing here. Uh, sorry about this, Jim, but I have no choice! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I swear to you, I've never hacked any information in my life. <laughs> Jeremy! Where are you? There's a weirdo in the lab. Ulrich, this is all Xana's doing, you hear me? Bring everyone back home! <sighs> Very interesting. Who is this Xana? The guy who recruited Jean-Pierre? Please listen. Just trust me this one time and let me go back to the factory. I've got to help my friends. Oh, uh, no! What is this? A video game? Are you alright? No! Supporting. I finally apprehended the stern boy down in the underground room, but then he managed to escape. You want to see for yourself? Huh? Seems to be real this time. But, uh, I'd like to know what you're doing. I want an answer, you hear? Now you listen to me. Let go of my arm. If you don't, I promise you sparks are gonna fly. Yumi, Aelita, Odd, do you read me? Ulrich, what's the matter? Where's Jeremy? No idea. All I know is that there's this weirdo in the lab who's possessed by Xana. There has got to be an activated tower somewhere. In which sector? How should I know? Did you forget how awful at computers I am? Listen to me, Ulrich. I'm going to guide you. The tower is in the mountain sector. 25 degrees west and 72 degrees south. Better hurry up, because... Oh, wait a second. <gasps> uh, Ulrich, did you just hit the lead or something? No, but something very uncool is going on down below. Ulrich, hit the enter key. Bad news. The guy possessed by Xana is trying to destroy the supercomputer. And the scanners are offline. Xana's plan is diabolical. If the supercomputer is destroyed, Lyoka will disappear forever and all of us along with it. You have to get the scanners back online and bring us in fast. Sounds good, but I'm no Jeremy. I can't put anything online. The best we can do is for you to deactivate the tower while I deal with that creepo downstairs. Roger, be careful. It's time for us to change sectors. <laughs> We better watch our life points. If we lose them all with the scanners offline, it'll be game over for good.
Prince Yumi? Oh. <laughs> the Oh no, seven years bad luck. Slightest idea what this junk is used for. What did you say it was for? We didn't say anything at all. Well, the supercomputer's taken a hit. It's pretty badly damaged. I hope it'll work again. Hope what'll work again? Return to the past now. Return to the past now! John Pierre again, Odd? Yeah. But this time, I'm gonna find out who stole it. Huh? Listen up, everybody. Now we're gonna see who Jean Pierre's kidnapper was. It was. It was you, Ulrich? You're all a bunch of traitors. The only one I can really trust is Yumi from now on. Um, Odd, it was my idea. No. You too? But. What do you all have against my Jean-Pierre? We did it for your own good, and ours, because you were starting to get hooked on him. Relax, Odd. Jean-Pierre's just fine. Believe me, he couldn't be in better hands. Hmm. 